Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to apply hair extensions specifically for people with really thin and fine hair. So I've seen so many videos on how to apply hair extensions for fine hair. When it comes to actually watching them, although the models that they use do have fine hair, or although the people in the videos do have fine hair, they have a lot of fine hair. And so yes, even though they might have fine hair and not thick hair, it is easier to conceal the hair extensions. And so for people like me, who do have fine hair, but don't have a lot of fine hair, it can be really hard to conceal those hair extensions. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply the hair extensions, best tips and tricks for concealing the hair extensions, and also the best way to apply them for really fine hair. I'm sorry if I sound all gross and horrible, it's because I'm starting to get cold and my throat really hurts. I don't actually feel too bad, but I just sound really, really blocked up and gross. I kind of feel like Karen at Mean Girls, which is like, <coughs> I'm thick. So anyway, I'm going to try and fumble as least as possible through my words. And I'm also going to try and keep this video nice and short and sweet, because usually I can ramble on for ages, and then the video gets really long, and then you guys get boring. The story of my life. And so yeah, I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. Okay, so as I said earlier, I do have really fine, really thin hair and not a lot of it. I'm not going to lie, I don't have the thinnest hair in the world. I have seen people who do have thinner hair than I do, but my hair is still very, very thin. My hair this morning is freshly washed. I did not do anything special at all to it to try and get any volume or anything like that. It doesn't have any product in it besides detangling spray and uh, heat protection spray. This is mostly um, air dry naturally and then I gave it a quick blast with a hair dryer just to, just to finish it off before I started filming. I also haven't straightened it or anything like that yet because I'll do it as I apply the hair extensions. So these are the hair extensions that I will be using today. These are the Fox Lux hair extensions, the Deluxe in Sandy Blonde. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these hair extensions because I did do an in-depth review and demo on them on my channel a few months ago. So I'll link that down below in case you guys want to know like all the details and that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight to the video, and I'm first going to use a three-clip weft. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair. Most people, when I've seen their videos, they start their first weft and section right above their ear. However, because I have fine hair, I need to start my hair extensions as low as possible. So I'm actually going to create another section halfway between the top of my ear and the bottom of my hairline. So as you can see, this first section is really, really low down in the back of my head, and I'm just going to straighten my hair so it blends in with the hair extensions. So I'm just going to give this section of hair a quick brush through with my tangle teaser and then I'm going to apply that to that section of hair. Oh, excuse my roots as well, they're really bad and they really need doing. So I've just unclipped the rest of my hair and I'm going to take another section and this time I'm going to take that one directly above the top of my ear. Every time I pull down a new section of hair, I'm also going to really quickly straighten that as well. So next I'm going in with another three clip weft and I'm going to apply that in the same way that I applied the first one. A little tip for when you're clipping in the hair extension, I always find it easiest to start with the centre clip first, that way it's bang on in the centre of your head and you know that you're not going to be too far either side. I'm now going to part my hair slightly above where we place the last extension. Okay, so that third section is only slightly above my ear and I'm going to go in with a four clip weft. Within the Fox Lock set, you do get two four clip wefts, but one is slightly smaller than the other, and this is the bigger one. And there's no real reason why I'm using the bigger one over the smaller one, other than the fact that the bigger one today is straight and the smaller one is curly, and I can't bother to straighten it. I do have rather a small head, and this bigger weft on me does fit all the way from ear to ear. I can't remember the exact size in inches of this weft, but I will um, write that down below just so you guys know. So I'm just going to apply this in the same way that I've applied all the others. The only difference with this one is that because there is four clips, there is not one clip that is specifically in the middle, so I have to place the two inner clips either side of the centre of my head, if that makes sense. So, so far I do have three layers of hair extensions in, and now I'm going to apply my last layer. This is probably the most important one for me because it is the hardest to conceal. So the best tip for working with hair extensions in really thin hair is do not put your hair extensions higher than the line of your eyebrow. If you put your hair extension higher than your eyebrow, for example, all the way up here, the top of your hair is not going to be thick enough to conceal that hair extension. If you put it on or below the line of your eyebrow, you've got all of the hair up the top here to conceal that weft. Okay, so this is where it might get slightly confusing because now I go in with four different wefts. So for the top layer of my hair extensions, I go in with two two-clip wefts and two one clip wefts. Now this might seem really ridiculous when I do have another four clip weft left, so why don't I just use that one? 
but the four clip weft is not big enough to go all the way around my head and because I do have very fine hair if I don't have a hair extension that comes quite close to the uh, sides of my head it looks obvious that I'm wearing hair extensions because the front of my hair is really really thin if that makes sense so because the four clip weft does not go all the way around my hairline I take the two two clip wefts and place them at the sides of my head and then I take the two one clip wefts and put them in the gaps in the back of my hair so I take the two clip weft and place the first clip right above my ear and then I get the two one clip wefts and place them in the gap between and it doesn't matter if they're all not super even in your hair because you're not going to see them and then I'm just going to take down the rest of my hair give it all a quick brush out And now I'm just going to quickly straighten the top part of my hair and any of the lengths so that the extensions really blend in. If I stand up a little bit, you might just be able to see the length of them. They are 20 inches long. And I do, of course, have some wefts left over that I haven't put in my hair. Sometimes people think that because you have all the wefts, you have to sort of cram them onto your head, but you really, really don't. If you try and find places to fit them all onto your head, especially if you have a small head and really fine hair like me, you're going to find that you're going to see them and it's also not going to look natural. Playing around with positions and the best weft to use is honestly the best way to find out what is best for your hair and what's going to look most natural. I don't have any wefts higher than this part of my head. So all this hair up here is completely my natural own hair. And of course, if you want that to look a bit fuller, you can always blow dry it to get some volume in there, use some heat styling products, that kind of thing. But in my personal opinion, I think this still looks really, really natural and I haven't even attempted to create volume in my hair at all. So yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope some of you guys found these tips and tricks helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And of course, let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials using hair extensions, like high ponies, buns, that kind of thing. And of course, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll leave a little box up here that will take you to my channel page so you can see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.